Hey everybody, I am back for another video and today I am out exploring some more sculptures by Willie Ferguson. Uh, the last time, I, the last video that I did, uh, I got a lot of responses. So I'm taking your suggestions. I really appreciate you uh, commenting on Facebook as well as YouTube. And uh, I'm going out and, I'm, and, and finding these other locations you mentioned. And I want to uh, correct some things. Uh, when I originally uh, posted the video, um, I said that these were made by Willie Ferguson. Well, after doing some research and definitely getting some comments um, on the previous video, uh, I actually was aware that he wasn't the only one that made these sculptures. He actually uh, worked with another a person. He had one full-time employee at his shop, and uh, that was the name of Jim Chestnut. And he actually has a quote um, about it. He says, Jim and I work it out together. Uh, we're in full control of what we're doing. We can change things, jazz it up, just have fun. We entertain ourselves. Um, and, and Jim Chestnut also um, made me medieval sculptures as well. So his talents were put in uh, and, uh, and helped make the sculptures that we looked at on the previous video as well as the sculptures that we're going to see today. So it was a collaboration between those two people uh, that helped to create uh, the sculptures that we see. And thanks uh, to everyone that pointed that out. Um, so you ready to go look, out, look at some more sculptures? Uh, come on, let's go check it out. So this is the uh, workshop, or at least it used to be the workshop of Willie Ferguson right there in the distance. We're going to walk up to it here a little closer. And check this out. Right here in the driveway still sits the uh, ballerina slippers. Pretty cool. Check it out. And right here is uh, another sculpture of here. His a circle with an arrow piercing through it. Here at the same location, here at his old shop. And it looks like he had some other sculptures right here, uh, but they are no longer here. I know that there was a giant uh, boot here at one point here at his shop, but it has since been moved and there's nothing else remaining of the sculptures So I was so close on this one. The Stanton Library is just down the road and uh, uh, someone posted on Facebook that this one was also a sculpture by Willie Ferguson right here. Uh, this is the uh, fire department here in Stanton. This is the uh, first location or the number one location one and uh, this is uh, a number one signifying on the helmet the location.
So this is fire station number two, and here is the second fireman's helmet. And you notice here it's got a number two on it. It looks identical to the one we were just looking at at the first station. All right, so this next uh, sculpture is a sculpture that I've driven by many times. It is a gigantic plow. <laughs> Come on. Now, one thing that's unique about this one is has it's got some paint on it. It's got some collar to it where others uh, does not. I believe that the collar was added by the owners of this uh, sculpture. It would take a pretty tall, pretty tall person to use that as a plow. So he has some dolls uh, that are designed like they're like the paper cutout dolls. Uh, and he has this at a school here in Stanton. So we're on our way to look at that. So the last sculpture is at the Commonwealth Center for Children at the top of the hill here in Stanton. All right, well that was the video for today. It was really cool going around and seeing uh, more sculptures that were done by Willie Ferguson and Jim Chestnut um, here in Stanton, uh, in the surrounding area. Uh, there is some more sculptures in this uh, uh, that was done. Uh, there were sculptures that were done in Alexandria, Virginia. Um, also, um, some sculptures that were done in Williamsburg, Virginia. I mentioned that before at the library. And even one in Delaware where there's a huge medicine bag up there that you can see. So I haven't got to those, but maybe one day I will. <laughs> Thanks to everyone that left comments and suggestions of where to go. And uh, I, I really thank you all for continuing, to anyone that's continued watching this uh, channel. And uh, if this is your first time watching, um, if you like what you saw, 
please please uh, continue <laughs> subscribe and uh, you'll get the latest content to come out see you all in the next one have a great day